What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Tonight, we're going to be making moho pork chops on the Blackstone. Let's do it. Hello, everybody. Tonight, we're making moho pork chops. If you've never had moho pork chops, you do not know what you're missing. I'm also gonna show you a tip on how to make sure you know when they're done correctly. So you don't want them too raw, because that's not healthy, and there's nothing worse than a dry pork chop. So we're gonna get you right. Make sure you stick around for that. If you're new to the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right below, as well as the notification bell downstairs, and that way you see when all the new videos are coming out. If you're currently subscribing, I wanna thank you all for your support. So one thing I wanna know from you is, what side dish do you like with your pork chops? I have a couple in mind for myself, but I wanna hear from you what your favorites are. Maybe I get some, uh, some good ideas. So make sure you go to that comment down below and just let me know which ones they are. So let's get cooking. All right, so we got some nice bone-in pork chops. Uh, we season these with Badia seasoning and also Iberia Moho. Uh, did this 24 hours ago in the fridge and these things are ready to go. The smell is outrageous. So we take them out about a half an hour before we put them on the Blackstone. You don't want them hot. I'm sorry, you don't want them cold going on there. You want them at least like room temperature. And then here we go, we got some Cuban bread here. Sliced up, butter on one side, we put the butter side down. And little little tip here, Cuban bread, a lot of people think if you don't you eat it the first day, that's it, it's hard as a rock. That's true. You got two choices here. You can put it in Ziploc bags or you can freeze them. I froze this Cuban bread about two weeks ago and you just thaw it out and it's just as good as when it's fresh. So we're going to put this down and we're going to toast these up. It shouldn't take very long, maybe three or four minutes. So you want to press these down. Uh, that's the best way to do Cuban toast. Um, butter on one side. You just press them down with whatever you got. Spatula, pan, lid, it doesn't matter. So this does... Uh, it makes them flat, number one, and it also gives it that nice little uh, toasty, buttery side. And then you'll see we're going to turn them and do the same thing on the other side without butter. You could do butter on both sides, but eh, one side's really good enough. You don't want too much butter. So that's it. We just keep pressing them, and then after a couple minutes, you want to check them, see where they're at. Oh yeah, these are getting there. Oh yeah, these are ready to flip over. So that's it, we flip them over. Beautifully toasted on one side. We're gonna flip them all and do the other side. So you can see here, this last row here on the edge is not quite done. Um, just because the, the left side of the, of the griddle is just not as warm as the other sides, or as the other side, and the middle is the hot, so I just slide them over, and we'll toast them up a little bit more while the other sides of the first set get toasted, so these guys can catch up. But again, there's many ways to find out where your hot spot is on your grill, what's cooler, what's warmer. You know, I've had people tell me, well, it's not level. Well, it really has nothing to do with <laughs> the levelness of it because there's no oil here. So there's no, this is just heat coming up off the grill, or the griddle um, from the burners below. And you got your two burners. So obviously right in the middle is the warmest part. And you can see they're getting done right there real quick. So they've caught up and that's it. We're gonna toast this other side for another minute or so. And that's it. So here we go. Another minute goes by, and these are done. Real easy. 
Uh, oops, missed one there. Um, toast goes great with uh, any kind of Latin dish, especially the Cuban toast. It's kind of traditional. You go to any Latin restaurant and you can buy these. They usually come uh, uh, standard with the meal anyway. So that's it. We scrape off the breadcrumbs and let's get ready for mojo pork chops. So I turned the right side off completely because we only have two pork chops here. So there's no need to have both sides on. Put down a little bit of uh, avocado oil. Spread it out. Here, get it nice and even. And we are going to gently lay our mojo pork chops. And you want to lay them away from you. So the oil, if it does splatter, it goes the other direction. And you can see these are still sopping in that mojo. I know a lot of people like to pat them dry first. That's cool. I get it. But on the Blackstone, I don't think you need to do that. I think that's more for the grill. He's kind of like now cooking their own juice. Because that, that mojo is not falling through a grate. It's sitting there and cooking right there into the pork chops. So here we're going to do couple things we're gonna cover it with our grill dome and we're gonna let it cook for a minute or two and then we're gonna check them to see how the, the side the you know how it's doing underneath you do not want to burn them uh, but we definitely want to get these done so that's why we're covering them so flip it over after a couple minutes and you can see the colors coming in there looks good back of the grill is warmer than the front there you go here's another hot spot here uh, so we cover them again with the grill dome and another couple minutes and then we're going to check them again and you can see the color starting to come in you can see all those juices and we here we have our instant read thermometer right now it's about 117 118 and you want to get these to 145. That is the temp that you want them at. That's a safe uh, cooked temperature for pork. So again, repeat the process. Another couple minutes, turn them over. I would say total time for these pork chops is probably about 10 minutes. Um, and that's turning them, you know, every couple minutes. And now you can really see the color coming in here. So we check them again. Some parts are going to be warmer than others. So you saw the one said 145, the other said 120, 118. So you want to check them in a couple different spots. Some of the um, leaner parts are going to going to read uh, higher than the less lean parts. So. Just check them in two or three different spots and there we go again. They're coming up a little bit, mid, uh, mid to upper 120s, not quite there yet. This one in the one mid, mid 130, so it's still got a little bit of time left to go. At this point, I'm going for color. The, Basically, the pork chops will be done in like two minutes, but there's no need to cover them anymore. So I just flip them and leave them uncovered and get the parts that are not quite as brown towards the center of the grill or griddle. And that's going to give them that nice color. And you can see the color on the top there is beautiful. So flip it around, get that part underneath there in the center, and man, <laughs> they're looking good. So we take off the grill dome completely. There's no need for it anymore. These things are basically done. I'm gonna check them one more time and they're gonna come off. Here we go. 141, two, three. Yeah, this is done. That is where you wanna be right there. Because they're going to continue to cook a little bit after you take them off. Uh, 
uh, yeah, this one's already 150, 145, 150, yeah, so these are done. So we'll give you one more close up, or one last close up, I should say, after we turn them here. And then we're going to take them off and we're going to go give them a nice little taste test. And here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that sizzle. Look at the uh, beautiful brown coloring on the top. Man, these pork chops were so juicy. They were out of control. So it is time. Let's take them inside and give it a go. got ourselves a moho pork chop beautiful with some white jasmine rice and some cuban bread toasted i'm missing some black beans but i was out sorry black beans right on here oh muy bueno but let's check out the moho pork chops because that's like the star of the show man these things look juicy give it a shot here oh look at that that is just the juices are falling all over the place here here we go mmm 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 wow that moho is awesome a little bit of white rice and some toast. Mm. That is good. Let me tell you, if you've never had moho before, you gotta try it. It's so good. I gotta make my own one day, but they sell it all over the place here in Miami, so I just buy it. Iberia is my favorite, but they have uh, badia and uh, all different types. Marinate it 24 hours. You saw how easy it was on the Blackstone. It took about 10, 15 minutes tops. And you get that little uh, pen thermometer. 145 degrees is the internal temp you're looking for. And it cooks perfect every time. So, everybody, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. And we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat. <laughs>